Hello and welcome to Taik. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to customize the theme in Power BI with our own formatting options. Like if you see on this screen you have a different font on the column header, different font on the row header and different font on the values here. So we will dig into this in this video. Before to that if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Okay, so I'm into this GitHub page where you can see the available of all the visuals in Power BI so that you can customize those visuals here. So which is basically here. I will also add this link in the description of this video and here in this video for this demonstration I have just extracted this matrix.json from this one and open this file into a notepad++. So this is the one. So initially that was a different color formatting options but I have made a slight changes to look and feel of what I have given on this screen. So here if you see what are the options which you have for this matrix visual. So basically this is a visual type, visual style, pivot table, style preset and this is condensed and it is about the grid settings. So what is the grid verticals here and the vertical color, horizontal color and what is the solid line and the color of this one and the width of this one, row padding, outline color and every options whatever we need everything is available here. And now as I said in the introduction. For the column headers you have a separate thing. So I have used this white color font and I have used this font here. And for the row headers I have used the black color font and I used the Verdana here and this is the font size of 15 and here is font size of 12. Okay now this is for the value section and also you have this for subtotals and you have also this for grand totals. So these are the things which you have it here and so that you can use it on your turn. So in order to customize this a bit more, um, so for an example this bold was not there initially. So I just added a bold option here so that if you want to bold the font then you can use that. Like in the C if the value section you can see these bold fonts here. That is how you can able to do that. And now if you notice this one the row headers is not bold here and if I want to apply the bold settings to the row headers. How I can do, I will just go to row headers here and at the last I need to add a comma because I am adding a new value and double quote bold and after that colon and true because this actually we just need to enable bold uh, true or false. It is not like the font width of font bold we need to set. It's just we need to enable the bold settings to be true or false. So I have just saved this theme and if I go to power bi in the view in the themes I have this option of browse for theme if I click here and then I select this one the matrix JSON theme and click on open. If I do so now you see the change in the row headers as a bold font. Not only just bold if you see I also use the italic here to be true and I'm going to add the underline equal to true and let's see how it works. Now you can see the italic is also there and underline is also there. This is really good right. So we can customize based on our need but the only thing is you just need to make it bold true or false. Now if I just switch it back to false here for italic and both this one save this and go to power bi browse for theme and matrix theme done. Now this will just keep the bold and italic and underline is gone now. So this is how you can able to customize each and every area of the matrix visual in this video. So this is just a demonstration of how you can do this for the matrix visual. This is not limited just to matrix. And you can see here the list of available almost all the standard visuals available in Power BI so that you can use and customize based on your needs. So this is an ask of many people 
um, in the community about how we can do these changes, how we can do those changes in the irrespective of the company theme, standard practice and everything they want to follow while developing the Power BI report. I hope this video will helpful for them in order to customize the theme of Power BI based on their needs. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.